All right, we're going to go in and edit our listing that we have in Google Local to include things like pictures, business hours, uh, videos, uh, coupons, all sorts of things. So I'm going to search for in Google Local for Gosser Properties. And when I find it, I will click on Edit. And since this business has not been claimed, I'm going to claim this business as my own. They asked me, do I want to edit my business information, suspend this listing, which would mean take it out of the directory, or say this isn't my listing. We are going to edit my business information. And we'll add in the zip code. Email address website we could add another category of business if we choose We can list a business hours when we're open. I'm going to prefer to not do that. Type of payments that we receive. And we can also browse and upload a photo. For this property, I'm for this listing, I'm not going to upload a photo at this time. But I can also include videos. And any other additional information that I want to, that I want to add. So Google Local really gives you the ability to put out a lot of information in your listing, much more information than what you would put in a Yellow Pages or a newspaper ad. When I click Submit, it's going to say, it needs to validate this listing to know that I am actually the person that owns this business and I own this listing. And typically the way it's going to do that is by a postcard. So Google is going to send me a postcard to the address I gave and that postcard will be received in two to three weeks. And what will what it'll give me is a PIN number that I need to put into Google Local in order to activate my listing. I'm going to click on Finish. And at that point, that's all I can do. Uh, just wait for my listing. Now, if I wanted to, I could also add some coupons at this time, but that is for a, another lesson. And let's just wait for this to be approved.